Hello, Hotel Moritz? The reception here, can I help you? I'd like to talk to Mr. George. He's a barman at your hotel. I'll connect you with the bar. Just a moment. Hello, hotel bar? Hi, I'd like to talk to George, please. George? You mean Mr. George? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, he must have been a barman at the Moritz in the 50s. Well, don't want to disappoint you, but Mr. George stopped working here quite a while ago. What was it about? I've been told that Mr. George had a recipe for a fantastic cocktail, and only he knew the ingredients. I absolutely must know what was in it. It's a matter of life and death. I'd love to help you, ma'am, but you see old George? Now, he knew a lot of cocktails. One hell of a barman and one hell of a reputation. He did write down his recipes before he left, but if you can tell me which one you were looking for exactly? Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of them, you say? Yeah. The Paris Peking Shuffle, the Deep Green Secret, Boco Poco, Blue Helena, Red Mambo... Helena! Yeah, that's the one. The Blue Helena. Right, I'll take a look. Blue Helena, you say. Let's see. One measure of vodka, one measure of blue carasso, one measure of honey, a dash of lime and ice cubes. Shake it all together and Bob's your uncle. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. You have been most helpful to me. I'm sorry to disturb you. Yeah, I think I can thrust with my queen through there. Unless... I can see that I'm disturbing you. Uh, hey, no, no, no. Check in two moves. Hmm. Maybe I'll squeeze him with my bishop instead. Nothing like a good squeeze from a bishop. Okay, I wouldn't like to disturb you any longer. Excuse me, could you just... Oof, I must confess I am flummoxed. That defense there, a real conundrum. I really could do with... Right hook with the knight. Nope, he's going to follow through with that castle. Okay, got the picture. Thanks a lot. Doesn't look like that works.
I wonder how that works. I wonder how that works. My voice. My God, that is atrocious. Horrific. It was too good to be true. George's Blue Helena is powerless. Ineffective on the voice of an old woman. But your voice is perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit, that's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but really, I cannot go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. My performance would be so poor. I would get such bad reviews. You've just got to get your confidence back, hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, be quiet. You are a sniveling little creep. The Blue Helena really does have a magical effect. Your voice is sensational. I am not convinced. If my voice has really returned, it is not ready. It is still not powerful enough. I tell you you're wrong. The Calm Calls grad director is going to be amazed. My dear, how little you know. I remember a time, madam, when you would test your vocal prowess by breaking crystal tableware and decorations. Ah, those were the days. <laughs> Shards of crystal. I could never do that now.
my voice. My God, what have I done? My voice has returned. Did you hear that, James? My voice, my voice has returned. Your voice is still as magnificent as ever, madam. But please don't forget, you're no spring chicken these days. Time has taken its toll. And you're not the toy boy you once were either, James. I hope you have fun on your own. Madam, leaving you is quite out of the question. Don't be stupid, James. What would you do there? Your place is here. You must prepare my return. Madam, I won't insist. Adventure is not an integral part of my action functionalities. Maybe you're right, madam. As ever. Do I understand correctly that you're going to go with me to Comcallsgrad? You do, my dear. We're going on tour, my dear. Anchors away! I'll go back to the airship to prepare my departure. You can join me there when you're ready. James! Take me to my room. I must prepare. Quick! Quick! What are you waiting for? My fans are waiting for me. Are you sure you're sure about this, madam? Shut up, James, and put your foot on it! Hello? Hi, it's me, Olivia. Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs, then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? What's up? Cat got your tongue? Well, <laughs> tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that Romansky chick? You don't think it's dragging out too long? I haven't had the time to get bored, I can tell you that, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? You didn't even answer my question, that's so unlike you. Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue silk top? Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. I've done something horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I... I can't eat. I keep wanting to hurl. Olivia, tell me what's going on. <laughs> Dan! What about Dan? Has something happened to him? I am... weak. You're gonna hate me for the rest of your life, and you'd be right in your situation, I... What? After the Goldberg, Dan took me home. We were a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nightcap, and then... Okay, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. I got it. It's all my fault. I could never tell you that I've had the hots for Dan for ages, because you're my friend and you were engaged and all, but but then we got so close lately and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I, Kate, the guilt is killing me. I want to die. Look, don't bust a gut over it. You and Dan, it's, it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I need to process this new bit of data. Are you like some automaton or something? Kate, please! I'm hanging up now. I want to be on my own.
This man want of me. He has gone totally mad. Don't worry. There must be some way of getting you out of there, and I'm going to find it. But do hurry up, my child. I am terrified he will return and become dangerous. Be strong, Madame Romansky. You can trust me. This lock looks fairly solid. Oh, at last, young lady. I was beginning to be desperate. I came as fast as I could. Now hurry! Get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. Are you all right, madam? My heart has been put to the test here, but it just might hold up. Let's go. Let's not hang around here. God, what has happened now? Ha ha! My try, Miss Walker. But you are not strong enough. Not for me. So you can stop playing games now. Return the hands to me. And bring Madame Romanski back. Or I shall not be responsible for my actions. You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, grab the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm gonna find a way out of this lousy factory. No chance. You will never succeed. Ha! We'll just see about that. 
I warned you, Kate Walker. I warned you. Be careful, my child. You too. And don't worry. want to touch it in case I break it. What on earth is going on? Why is this train not moving? This is not the time to hang around with that madman on the loose. That is a bit of a concern. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Oscar, I'm back. Let's get out of here. What a pleasure it is to see you again, Kate Walker. Please take your seat with Miss Helena in the carriage. She simply is a charming lady. She helped me screw my hands back on. I must inform you, though, that regulations make no provision for supplementary passengers. I hope that you still have your ticket for Arrowbad. Oscar! Message received and understood, Kate Walker. Departure imminent. Hello? Kate, hi. It's me, Dan. Are you all right? I'm okay now, yeah, thanks. But uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess... it's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Real proud. Kate, I don't understand a thing you're saying. I barely recognize you. No, it doesn't matter. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldberg. I finally beat Bob at squash. Uh, the cleaning woman broke the vase in the entrance hall. Well, other than that, nothing new. I see. Everything's cool, though? Yeah, yeah, everything's, uh, cool. 
You're not missing me at all? Oh, yeah. Sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. Nothing to say? I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know what came over me. It, it happened so quickly. I just totally lost control. I was so weak, so dumb. I just can't imagine how... I just can't... I can't imagine how you could ever forgive me. What a bastard I've been. I don't know, Dan. Maybe I'm to blame somewhere in all this. Maybe I pushed you into Olivia's arms. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. What's happening to us, Kate? Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk about it when you get back if you want. I don't know, Dan. We'll see. What is it this time? Large iron rods have emerged from between the huge legs of the giant statue. The track is now completely blocked. But that's absolutely crazy. Will that madman never get off our case? I'm going to see what I can do. Oscar, let's get the hell out of here. You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on, quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice, warm train. Get a life, Oscar.
You know something, Oscar? Despite all our mishaps and your grating personality, I think I'm going to miss you. Why? Are you leaving us, Kate Walker? Yes. When I found Hans Varlberg, I'm going to have to go home to New York. That's your decision, Kate Walker. Oscar, can we get going now? Really, Kate Walker? First, we have to wind up the train's mechanism. Of course. What was I thinking of? Right away, I'm on the case. Oscar, the wind has dropped. Maybe you can come with me. Kate Walker, a high-precision mechanism like myself has a built-in aversion to sub-zero temperatures. You know, Oscar, sometimes I think we'll never find Hans Varlberg. You have manifested a certain spunk and perseverance, Kate Walker. Please do not be discouraged. It's possible you are closer to your initial target than you currently imagine. Yeah, maybe. I hope the train wasn't damaged in the explosion. Do not worry, Kate Walker. I checked that everything was in order. You really do think of everything, Oscar. I do not think of water sports, Kate Walker. The weather has changed since my last visit. The wind has dropped, and it has started snowing a little. I was not fortunate enough to accompany you on your first visit, Kate Walker. You abandoned me to who knows what horrible fate in that creepy factory. Oscar, do you know something? You're changing. You might not notice, but you are. Change is outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. See you around, Oscar. I'll be waiting for you, Kate Walker. Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you, ma'am? I never thought that I'd travel so far away from home. You're still young, ma'am. Open those big brown eyes of yours and see the world. My eyes have never been so open, Mr. Felix. Well, I'm gonna hit the road again. Uh, would it be too much to ask where you're going? Who can say? Well, I wish you the best of luck, Miss Walker. There's no way you could help me in my research, is there? Once upon a time, but today, no way, Jose. This might seem a little indiscreet, but I think that Hans Varlberg stayed here once, and I'd like to know if you've heard anything from him since. It's not house policy to talk about the comings and goings of its clientele. But I will say that I have indeed not had the pleasure of doing dealings with Mr. Vorlberg since he left the hotel a long, long time ago. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Goodbye, Mr. Felix. You haven't changed your mind, then. I could do you a good deal on the Royal Suite. Thanks very much, but I really must be going.
Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. You know something, Oscar? Despite all our mishaps and your grating personality, I think I'm going to miss you. Why? Are you leaving us, Kate Walker? Yes. When I found Hans Varlberg, I'm going to have to go home to New York. That's your decision, Kate Walker. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. <laughs> Give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dineros. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumble jumble. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. What the hell was that? Hello, reception here. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madame Romansky would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. Madame Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Konkosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. 
And then one day the bubble bursts, and you are washed up and forgot. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. We've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Oh, he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorarlberg? Hans Vorarlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? You've brought the train, then. That's good. Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate... Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Varlberg, I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilene. It's, a. Uh... My job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Varlberg, the factory belongs to you now. And I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away. On the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. 
that Vorarlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But <laughs> that's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. I knew I could count on you, Kate. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right. Now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. Real dumb. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Vorlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure's all over for me now, Mr. Vorlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... <sighs> it's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York, too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible, maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg.